off to see the races. We're ready. We're going out to Hot Scone. All right. All right. And this is Susan Hamilton, and you're listening to the Offbeat Business Show. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, during your valuable lunch hour. I have got a treat for you today. We're talking to Tracy Haynes of the Authority Syndicate. And uh, this is cool. We have some interesting uh, collaboration because the Offbeat Business Show is all about helping you build your influence in the community, helping you recognize that. And then I meet Tracy, and he's all about building authority. And uh, you're going to really dig this conversation. So... Tune in and tell your friends to listen. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Susan. Thanks for having me. It's so good to have you here. You came a long way. Yes, Houston, Texas. Four and four hours and fourteen minutes. Not too bad. Yeah. A lot so, of a lot of personal development time. In four hours. Oh, so you're using 15. your time wisely. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh huh. Yes. Because you travel a bit. I've yes. seen you. You've been speaking all over the United States. Just got back from North Carolina at the uh, uh, business uh, marketing uh, event in. Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. So it was three days of entrepreneurs and business owners, and it was very exciting. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So that didn't just happen overnight. You had to develop your authority, and you had to develop, you know, that that whole aspect of your business. And at some point, a light bulb must have gone on where you realized, wow, I am actually more effective to everyone I meet if I build this section of me up. Tell me about the process there. Yes. You hit it uh, exactly on the head. As far as building your platform, so people realize that you're the authority and the go-to expert, you have to build that platform, and that platform consists of many things. And I bring on author speakers and entrepreneurs and small business owners and help them build that platform, what I call the nine steps to claiming your authority. And it's been you know, a little bit about my background. I'm a retired U.S. Navy veteran. I was a media mass communicator communication specialist in the Navy. I got to hang out with presidents and, and uh, celebrities and do video interviews, much like we're doing here. So that segued into what I'm doing today, uh, helping people get recognized for their expertise through publishing, through media, all kinds of medias. And publishing is just a small part of it. We've got podcasting, we've got writing, we've got uh, being a contributor to other magazines being quoted on Entrepreneur Inc., a Business Week, and things like that. So it's taken, you know, it doesn't happen overnight, but it's the fastest way to claim your authority so you can get your phone to ring. And I love how you say that, to claim your authority. First of all, Tracy, thank you for your service, and thank you for participating in the, you know, American experience in the way that you did. You're welcome. Um, Thank you. And then sharing it with us because without the people in the media during those times, we wouldn't know what's going on. So that's, that's pretty valuable to me. Um, but when you're talking about publishing being a small bit in all these other areas, I mean, we, you know, a lot of times people think that publishing is this big, scary thing. It's, it's incredibly time consuming. I can't tell you how many authors that I talk to that, um, really, you know, the, the time from when they started writing their book to the time when it's about ready to go out. I mean, this is grueling and then it's old marketing my book. What you've brought to the table, especially for veterans right now, I think is really, really awesome. Uh, especially coming up here, uh, this show will be airing right about the time all of our American families are cooking out for Fourth of July. Yes, Fourth of July. And hanging out for, for that. I mean, you found a way to help them recognize uh, their authority in the marketplace. And, and the word celebrity comes up a, a lot, but it's not a small word, friends. It's not a small word. That is so important because some of these, some of these business owners, we need to see those veterans yes. kicking it up yes. and really doing a great job. Yes. They are in the past. <clears throat> traditional publishing has been so challenging, I guess, to most people that had a book in them or had some content, a lot of people don't realize that the content they have can be brought out in several different ways. There's a thousand ways to write a book. We've managed to make it real easy and simple to leverage a, a business owner, an entrepreneur, or a speaker, or coach, to leverage their expertise to bring clients to them so they can pick and choose who they do business with and uh, spin that and use that to build that platform I talk about of the nine steps over time and I call that the Kardashian effect I know that has a negative connotation to it but the Kardashians are always always in the news right 
A business owner. There's something to that. Yeah. Business owners don't realize they have to be in the news constantly in either publishing, being an advocate and an educator to their clients, or providing uh, news releases or things that they're doing. Most of them don't realize what a news event is in their business. So what we do, we start out with the publishing of a book. We use that as a news event. And then we take them to the bestseller status, and then we do feature stories on them and just keep, as they say, spinning it until over time you've built this platform when you're in a networking event and I meet you. If I go home and search your name, I'm going to search your name. I'm not going to search your business name. What am I going to find? Am I going to find a Yelp review? Am I going to find something else that's not necessarily positive? But I want to find that you're an expert in what you said you were an expert in. So those things need to be there. Your USA Today interview, your quote on Forbes, your contributing to CNN, your Now, wait blog a minute. Post. You make sure that we get in all of those locations. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes. And that that is the platform that we're talking about. And that's what I mean. Publishing is just a small part of that. And when you show up at a network event and you have your book as your business card, we're not talking about your life story. We're talking about a solution that helps your target audience to bring them closer to you so you can have a further conversation. And it allows you to raise your prices. Exactly. And exactly. it allows you to be the definite go-to person in the marketplace. And I love to tell this story about if you're building your kitchen and you're looking for a contractor, you always go out for referrals, right? You ask your friends mm -hmm. or your church associates or your group, and they give you a name. And their recommendation is he's a great guy. He, you know, he's solid. And uh, this is uh, my recommendation. So you go and look for him. And while you're looking, he only has his LinkedIn account or a Facebook account that he's never made a post on in years. Or you're not finding much on the person. But in the meantime, you find this gentleman that's in the area. He's got his own TV show. He has his own podcast. He's been featured on USA Today. He's been quoted in in authority sites. So who are you going to pick? And it's it just, interesting because there's two there's two sides of that coin. If you ask me, and I think you'd agree, the one is I know I feel like that person who's more widely known will help me increase my reach. So that's a good connection for me, right? I just kind of assume that that that's that's the circle I want I want to be found in. But that other aspect, like you mentioned earlier, you are people assume and it's wise that they should that you have a more valuable experience working with them that you are going to charge more it costs to live that life and yes you, you know there should be something to show for your experience when you when you have worked this hard and and when you've gone when you have served our our country and we just we don't do enough to celebrate that in America today there's too many people that don't realize it. But mm -hmm. I feel like the, the reason the Offbeat Business Show and magazine so strongly wants to support our veterans is we see that as a strong undercurrent of American business. We are dealing with these issues today. Yes. And all of them, we, whether there's a need because a veteran's come back and has had a hard time transitioning back, or what about those veterans that are really using all the skills that they developed during their service mm -hmm. and they're bringing it to the table to cause our business to be running uh, just a, 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 an A game? That's something we need to see. We need to celebrate that and we need to talk about that. And Tracy is showing us how to take a business that might, you know, you're working hard, you're in it. How do you take it and, and really capitalize on the experience and expertise you bring to the table? Well, I'll tell you, you hook up with Tracy Haynes. That's what you do. And the Outreach Business Show has done that. So if you are a veteran business, I hope you listen to this. Listen, we got to take a break. And I hope you're enjoying this conversation with Tracy Haynes. And when we get back, we are going to talk a little bit more about what he's doing and exposing you to celebrity status and the Authority Syndicate. Awesome. I know you hate that. Okay, I get in trouble from my producer because I whack on my table. <laughs> and now he's got to go back and edit that out. So you know, he tells I think I me, did it too. I, went. I just, I, you know, I'm, you know, I'm emphatic. <laughs> I don't know. I probably got it from my dad. Yeah. I'm not sure. You can do it just do it on your own. I don't even know I'm doing it, Raul. 
but he's going to make me excellent, and I'm determined. That's right. I'm determined. Yeah, I agree. All right, are we ready to go back into time two? Yes. Rock and roll. Here we go. And we're back. Hey, this is Susan Hamilton. You're listening to the Offbeat Business Show, and I'm talking to Tracy Haynes of the Authority Syndicate, and he is helping business owners uh, become celebrities so that they can make more money and have a greater influence in their community, which is, of course, why the Offbeat Business Show is hooking up with him. <laughs> so tell yes, us more about this, because celebrity is not a dirty word. I mean, people pounce on that. Yes. Celebrity in your local market is... You know, Dan Kennedy says it best. If you're not actively and systematically creating that persona, uh, some people call it authority, some people call it celebrity status, but you reach a certain plateau in your community as the go-to person for your expertise. And it's just a matter of steps, and you have to get into the game and continually doing it and consistently. And that's where we come in is we help those entrepreneurs, speakers, and coaches take those steps so they build that solid platform. And we're real excited to team up with the Offbeat Business Show. We're offering uh, an opportunity for vets, uh, business vets, that are impacting the world and not only celeb <coughs> excuse me, celebrating them, but celebrating the fact that how they're helping people in their local, local community and be becoming educator and advocates for their target audience. And we're recognizing them in a special book that we've teamed up on called the Lone Star Veteran Business uh, Entrepreneurs in, in the local area. And uh, Susan and I got together to produce this book, and we're inviting you to participate. And it's a great step of establishing your authority and your celebrity status within your market. And Tracy, I wouldn't trust anybody else to do that. Well, you know, I'm honored. I'm honored. Uh, we've talked on several occasions. Uh, the first time we met, uh, I, w I was presenting in uh, at the Future Media Association, which is another group I always make sure I share with you. They are really connecting people and business owners to using media. One of the things that I stand for also. Don't, you've got to approach new media. With, uh, you've just got to get into this space. Uh, your audience is like this. And I know we don't want to get involved and help them, but friends, you can't influence them if you're not there. Get in that space. It's so important for you. But when I when but as Tracy and I were speaking, and I realized his heart for veterans and for it, it, his eye went up, and I could tell as we were talking, man, he was totally engaged. And as a veteran himself, he understands that when you are talking and inter when you're having this interview, uh, a veteran doesn't have to be afraid that you're going to ask them inappropriate questions or things that compromise uh, their security level or anything like that. You're we're not going there. Mm -hmm. No, he's going to respect you, and he's going to take and, and honor you. He's going to make you look really good because it reflects on him as well. That I trust. That I trust. Awesome. We're excited. So uh, need to reach out to Susan if you're interested, and uh, we've got some deadlines to meet, but uh, if you feel like you have an awesome product or a service or impacting, impacting the community, uh, that's why you're in business, right, because you're trying to to relieve a pain in the marketplace, whatever that is, whatever your expertise is. So we're taking that and we're, we're, we're putting it together in a nice book so you can be proud of it. You can use it as your business card. You can share it at networking events. And that's just the first step. And we're going to take that and we're going to do a press release and acknowledge the fact that you're in the process of publishing a book so we can use that as a newsworthy event. And then once it gets published and we get you to a bestseller status, we're going to praise that and get that into the media and get it circulated so everybody knows what you're doing. You will not be uh, not found out at that point. But uh, And you, do, you don't have time to do this. I promise you. That's the issue. And, and that's, you know, I network all over this area and uh, started networking in Houston. And I intend to go beyond. But one thing I'm seeing across the board, friends, is we don't have the time to do our own promotion. And it's not wise to do your own promotion. Not when you've got somebody who is in this space already occupying it and well known in it. The best thing for you to do is connect with someone who is and let them do it because they know exactly what needs to get done. And friends, if you want to get to that spot where you're not where you're getting off the hamster wheel and you're ready to say 
I'm going to enjoy the fact that I can charge more now. I've busted my hump <laughs> to get to this spot. Yes. I have, I've, I've accomplished those goals. Now it's time for that to come back and time for me to go start enjoying some vacations with my family. It's time for me to start and, you know, reaping the fruits of my labor, you know, then, then realize that the fastest way to do that and the smartest way to do that for the long term. This is not a short term solution, Tracy. Right. Exactly. It's going to take some effort on all of our parts, obviously, but you're going to be able to leverage it in your social media and in your in your activity online, and you will be separated from a Me Too market because it used to be 2009 when I published my first book for a colleague. He was a very smart guy. Uh, he was an inventor, college educated, but he had no idea about how to publish a book, and he didn't want to learn how to publish a book. So he gave me a challenge. He said, you need to find out how to publish books so you can publish mine because I have several in my head. So that's what I did. And when I gave him that book, it was so rewarding to him and not only him but me that I did it for him that I was hooked. And uh, that was back in 2009 and helping him realize his dream and vision of being a published author. And then we've taken it a step further. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a thousand ways you can publish a book. So we do it in a unique way that you can use it for leverage. It's not time consuming. In fact, you know, I spend 30 simple. to 40 minutes with you. We take it from there and you're basically done with the process at that point. So we just have to ask you some other questions, a form you fill out. But other than that, you're done with it and then we take it from there and put it in all the places it needs to go. And, and when I say it's a long, it's not a short-term solution, what we're saying is that it, this is a long-term solution. Once this is done, you always have this. This yeah. is going to go with you everywhere. And that online footprint is so important. Uh, one of the ladies that I, I have a lot of respect for, Amy Howell of Howell PR in uh, Tennessee, and one of the things she shared at uh, uh, DFW Rock Social last year, uh, she was saying, friends, if you do not have a social footprint, and something happens in your business, some PR issue happens in your business, that's a very expensive solution or a very, to, to come up with. That's not, a, that's not an inexpensive or a small thing. A, person, a PR company to do a good job and get you out of that PR hot water and, and turn things around has a lot of work to do. But if you already have a social footprint, now you have, you, you've got some reputation already that, that a PR firm can come in and work with. And, and in the course of American business, there may be a PR issue. <laughs> I mean, yes. those things can happen. They could. And it's nice to have that backup online. Yes, another thing I'd like to mention is when you continually doing the, the articles and being a contributor and a, or an educator and an advocate to your audience by authoring articles and, and producing content on Pulse, on LinkedIn, and, which makes you a thought leader, and you're not selling your product, you're educating your audience, and you're doing that through writing, video, and, and things like that, and we can help you with that as well. But as long as you're continually putting that footprint out there, it's hard to, for bad press to penetrate that because all these things that we're dealing with are authority sites, and they rank better than SEO because your name's attached to it. Okay. What was that, Tracy? Your name's attached to it, and it ranks better than SEO. Because Ooh. if they type your name in, that's what's going to come up first versus your company or versus any other thing. So every time we do an article, it begins with your name and then starts with or ends with whatever you're doing in your company. So whenever they, they meet you in a networking event and they type in your name, that comes up and that pushes everything else down on the search. So if there happens to be something that might come up that's negative, it, it, uh, it helps that out quite a bit. But the key word here is consistency. Consistently adding value to your marketplace and not selling, but consistently adding content and educating your audience, much like the contractor. Maybe he's got 25 videos that he's done answering questions or frequently asked questions he might get about a contractor or working on a kitchen, whatever those are. And I'm, we're not talking five, 10 minute videos, we're talking a couple minutes. It adds value versus the other contractor doesn't have anything there. So that's the tipping point that uh, creates 
the separation. Between and I, the others. I, that's interesting you say that. I do a presentation on that because we have two different visitors all the time. One that comes to because they are just want it done fast. They want it done in their time frame, and that's the the customer that's asking me the question. If you will use that your content to answer that question and put that on your website instead of spending your time and your money dealing with that, you've already addressed it. That your content is easily found. That's the shareable stuff. That's what they're looking for anyway. That behavior of customer behavior to your website is exactly what's going to bring the ideal client to you who's willing to pay more. And what was that? That was building that authority and building that platform on their website. So everything about what Tracy was saying here, I completely endorse and back up. And I hope that uh, you take this audio, take this video, and share it with your friends. Get this word out. Uh, this offer has a shelf life. And it's very important uh, that you get in on it because we really want to support you, friends, and we really want to, to help American business gain that influence that we need. And that's not for nothing. We have things that we're too busy dealing with, uh, to, to deal with. We've got all these things that affect our families. There are people that are making choices that directly affect us in business with our, with our children, with our parents, with our veterans, with our health care, with our taxation. And we're too busy to pay attention to what those things are. But you have a voice, and your voice can matter. And when you build your influence in the community and you build your influence online, you are to, uh, really – you. You, your voice counts, and it's time for your voice to count, friends, and it's especially time for your voice to count, veterans, and we want to support you. Tracy, thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. I appreciate thank you. you. Uh, this has been Susan Hamilton. Remember, you can, this is, I'm still Susan Hamilton, uh, <laughs> but friends, you can find the uh, all, all our upcoming lineup, all of our replays, and sign up for your very own copy of the Offbeat Business Magazine at offbeatbusiness.com. Tracy, how can they find you? They can find me at immediatecelebritystatus.com. That's immediatecelebritystatus.com. Or I encourage you to connect with me on LinkedIn at tallenhaines.com, and I'll send you a copy of my number one international best-selling book. Oh, I love that. I love that. And remember, veterans, if you are interested in getting in on this book, uh, Lone Star Veteran Business Leaders dot com. It is a www. www. Lone Star Veteran Business Leaders dot com. This is Susan Hamilton. You've been listening to the Offbeat Business Show. Thank you. How do we do, producer? How'd it go? I can have it.